Hi, this is Jennifer Irwin from jenniferlifecoaching.com and I am here with this free series to talk to all the high achieving, um, highly caring, um, very smart women out there who also struggle with an inner critic. These women are experts at showing up for others in their lives and yet they still really struggle to show up for themselves in the same way that they show up for others. So in this free series, we're gonna be really um, talking about how to tame your inner critic and awaken your own best friend so that you can start showing up for yourself in really beautiful ways, just like you do for other people. And um, we're gonna be tackling all the sticky stuff that comes with um, trying to unpack this process through this free series. Um, and just so, so you know, the first part of this series is on Facebook Live. I will be posting this video also onto um, Facebook. Um, but I've been having some technical issues. This is my, my first time with Facebook Live and, you know, with tech stuff in general, it's always kind of messy. So um, I'm embracing the beautiful imperfection of it all and filming it again. I already did on Facebook Live. It didn't take. So here I am again. So look, if you're looking for the first um, video in the series, look on Facebook. And if you're here joining for the first time, you're in the right place. If you are one of those highly caring women, but have trouble really turning that care inward. So once we learn how to do this, tame our inner critic and really become our own best friend, we can expect to experience greater levels of confidence, life satisfaction, a sense of security, and also this resilience because we know that we've got our own back. Like at the bottom of last, at the end of the day, the buck ends with us and we know that we're here for ourselves. So, um, on Wednesday, on that Facebook Live post, I talked about my own personal um, journey with this process and how I went from being a perfectionist, overachiever, to really learning um, the skills that it would take to show up and develop the inner resources inside myself to really kind of um, learn how to work with the inner critic and build up the sense of my own best friend that lives within me. Um, and I am so grateful that I found those tools. Um, it feels like an act of grace because I had done so much personal development work beforehand. Um, but now, I, really, I just know that this is key because I've seen it in my own life. I experience more life satisfaction, more inner peace, and a lot more joy in my life after having um, gone through this process myself. And I see the similar results in the clients I work with in my coaching and also with the course that I teach. So. In this series, I'm going to just kind of go through some of the topics that we'll cover so you know where we're headed on this journey. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about why so much personal development work doesn't stick, why it doesn't take. And then in subsequent weeks, um, I'm going to be popping on Wednesdays and Fridays, maybe with Facebook Live, maybe through YouTube again, we'll see. Um, oh, the following weeks, we're going to be talking about um, why the heck we have an inner critic, um, like what's her role, why she's here, and then what to do to kind of start to tame her, to really move her out of the driver's seat. If you've got a really loud, active critic, how to really move it so that you can hear other more positive voices going on in your head. Um, so how to befriend the critic. We're also going to be talking about some really important things of habit change in general, but that are super apl applicable on this path. And those are having clarity and consistency. And then we're going to be really talking about, um, let me see, I'm trying to remember the order that I'm going in. Ah, the good news. So the um, really good news is that if you're in this camp of someone who really shows up in a big way for others, um, but struggles to do it on your, for yourself, you already have the skills, the same exact skills that you use when you show up as a partner, as a friend, as a daughter, um, as a parent, those same skills are already honed inside of you. I know you and you show up in amazing ways. And so the good news is we don't have to develop so many of those skills. We already have the skills within us and it's really about turning them so that we can experience them for ourselves, from ourselves. Then we're gonna be talking about 
what three skills are really essential to start developing that inner best friend, that in, inner wisdom, inner nurturer, the inner resources to really show up for ourselves. And we're going to be um, lastly dealing with those sticky negative beliefs that tend to hang around, those kind of limiting beliefs that keep us from, that really kind of linger no matter how much personal development we work, work we do and really seeing where those come from. And then on the last week, I would love to answer questions that people have. So write me, um, let me know what it is that you would like answered. And I'd be so happy to go over those questions with you on our final week together. All right. So I want to underpin all of this, that this is the time. So if you've been struggling for a long time, I really believe that this um, day and age is the time to start addressing your inner critic because the way that our world is right now, we're dealing with a global pandemic, still dealing with it. Our lives have been shifted. There's a lot of social unrest, systems are breaking down and we have this opportunity and this need to be centered within ourselves and to really show up for ourselves when there's so much unknown um, things that are wildly out of our control. It's really important to be able to shore ourselves up and be our own best friend and have the inner resources to be able to handle whatever life throws us. And also to be able to contribute the best of ourselves, the, the unique, beautiful things that we have to offer. And when we have this active inner critic, what it's like is us wanting to move forward to contribute, to help. And we've got one foot on the brakes. Like we're trying to move forward, but our inner critic usually out of fear or worry or, or anxiety is keeping us where we are because it wants us to stay safe. So in order to really help the world right now and offer what we have to give, we really need to work on this, this taming of the inner critic and learning how to show up for ourselves, both personally so that we can have more peace of mind wherever we are in whatever circumstances we're in, and also to be able to bring our beauty and our joy and our contribution to the world in really big ways. So that's just underpinning why I think this work is so important at this time. So let's dive into today's topic, and that is why personal development work doesn't always stick. So the women that I work with um, in my coaching practice, in my, in my course, are not new to personal development. They have taken, they've read books, they've taken courses, they've done lots of personal growth work. They're highly reflective people, people that like to grow, they want to know more about themselves, they want to improve, and yet they still feel stuck with this inner critic. There's still something that's holding them back where they're not getting the kind of traction that they need. And this was me to a T. I mean, if you watched my story on Wednesday, that's where I was. Like, if you had seen, I could have my own personal self-help, like, wall-to-wall -wall library of books that I've read and workshops that I've attended. You'd think I'd be a guru by now. But so much of that work was done where I still had that really active inner critic. And so a lot of that work was really undermined. It didn't really take hold get rooted inside of me because the inner critic was constantly pulling it out. It was saying, ah, oh, here's where you're a failure or you're really not doing it well enough. And these things would constantly undermine all of my good work. And this is the same pattern that I see with my clients. So if you don't do this work first, what I found um, is that is that you are just stuck. And so what you need to do is you need to bring awareness and care and compassion to our inner critic first. This is the essential first step to letting any personal growth, especially with this um, type of person and woman, what I found is that the pattern is clear that this is where the action needs to start. This is where it is, because no matter what you do, your work's going to be undermined. So it won't matter how many affirmations you say, positive affirmations in the mirror, or how much self-care practice you do, or how many positive things you can think about, about your life or about yourself. You're just going to still have this tape. You're still going to have this untamed inner critic that's really running the show. So what I found is that a lot of women feel like we'll do these practices and feel like they're trying to grow and maybe it works for a little bit, but then they're still left feeling frustrated and overwhelmed and undeserving, often anxious, um, lacking, still feeling like not enough, not enough. So these tapes are still playing. 
So how I like to think about addressing the inner critic first is that if you're trying to create this beautiful garden, which is your life, right? And you have some weeds in there, and I am actually a, a plant lover, and there are a lot of beautiful um, herbal things about dandelion, so I'm not knocking dandelion, but it works very well in this metaphor. So if you have a bunch of dandelion, but you're wanting to plant other things, dandelion has a really deep root system. So to get it out of your garden, growing everywhere, you have to dig deep. And that's kind of where our inner critics are. They, they have deep tap roots that go way, sometimes way back into childhood. They've been there for a long time. We've been running these tapes for, for years and years. And so we really have to go down to the very root of things and look at it really clearly, see all the different aspects before we can upend it, before it can stop running rampant over our garden. So no matter how many, like in this personal development metaphor I've been using, no matter how many courses or things you take, whatever you plant in the garden, plant in the garden, a lot of times if you've still got dandelions growing everywhere, it's because the dandelions are sucking up all the nutrition, all the energy, and there's nothing left for the other plants to grow on. And that's how our inner critic is. It takes up so much resources that it makes it really hard for our other personal development habits and work, other things that we're doing to try and improve ourselves and our lives, um, really make it work, okay? So this step is one you don't wanna skip over no matter what. So I hope you tune in next week, what we're gonna be talking about on Wednesday, August 19th, either on Facebook Live or here on video, I'm gonna be talking about what steps you need to take to really get down to the root so that your inner critic is no longer in the driver's seat of, the le of your life. It's really moved over to the passenger side or the back. We're never gonna get rid of her, unfortunately. That's um, sometimes hard for people, but we're gonna to start to love her. So she's not going to be quite so loud and she's not gonna be driving your life anymore so that we can enjoy our small patch of dandelions in one segmented part of the garden and let the rest of the garden be full of the other things in our life that we want to grow and develop, okay? Well, I'm so glad you joined me. Thank you for being here. Thank, thank yourself for showing up and learning these things and being willing to try new things always. If you were here, I know that's you, that you've been doing so much personal growth and I know this can help. It really has transformed my life and those that I've worked with and I hope it can transform yours as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it in the button below on Facebook or share it with others that you think would benefit from it. And um, I will look forward to seeing you on Wednesday for the next installment where we're really gonna talk about how, what we need to do with the inner critic, how to befriend her. All right, till then, have a good weekend, bye.